What's up guys, it's Styles here, and today we are back for another Juice World Pixel Art tutorial. Now, I'm probably going to rename this one different uh, Juice World Pixel Art tutorial background uh, number one, so that way I can keep up uh, with the background videos a lot easier. And so whenever I make the playlist for that, for all the videos you need to work on in the background, I can go ahead and have these separate from the main part. Um... So a lot of people are saying they want to see me go ahead and finish up the background. So I'm going to do that. Uh, behind all the pixel arts, I've put, or I've had someone help me out, put a giant wall of black concrete. So that way, this speeds up the process of me working on this. It's quite early in the morning, cold, and my voice is a bit eh. So I do apologize if I <clears throat> yeah, start sounding weird for a bit. So we're going to start off the video. We're going to grab us purple terracotta and magenta terracotta. And we are also going to grab us nether core ore, and then we are going to grab us a note block as well. <clears throat> Alright, and on top right here, um, on top of the nether rack, we are going to place us purple terracotta, um, or to the left of the nether rack in between the soul sand as well. And on top of that, we we'll place this purple terracotta once more, and then one more to the right. And then we're going to place this magenta terracotta on top of the two purple terracotta we have right there. We're then going to grab our polished granite right here from below and place it to right of the magenta terracotta. From there, we're going to place this two purple terracotta to the left of the magenta terracotta and one underneath the, the purple ter terracotta to the left. And then place another core ore to the right. On top of the purple terracotta to the left, we're going to place us a note block. And then place us up to on top of the note block to the left, purple terracotta. From there, we are going to take us a brick block and place it to the left of the top purple terracotta. Now, hopefully I did mention this at the very beginning. You don't have to have a giant background wall. It's just supposed to speed up the amount I get done in the tutorial video. Um, but it does make it a lot easier. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab us light gray terracotta. And we're going to place one underneath the brick block and go back over to the right, place one on top of note block, and then place a brick block on top. Then the brick block to left, up left diagonal, we're going to place us another brick block, place us two purple terracotta underneath it. At the very bottom purple terracotta, we are going to go all the way over to the gray wool to left. We are then going to place us to right the blue terracotta, um, nether core ore, then purple terracotta, and then we are going to take us netherrack and place us two netherrack to the right. From there, we are going to go up left diagonal from the nether core ore. We're going to take us soul sand and place us soul sand up left diagonal from the nether core ore. Up right diagonal from the soul sand, we're going to take us nether core ore again and place it up right diagonal from the soul sand. And then up right diagonal from the nether core ore we already have, we're going to place us up to one, two. We are then going to take us our purple terracotta to the right of the soul sand. We're going to go all the way down to the brick block and then to the right of the nether core ore, place us one purple terracotta. To the right of the nether core ore on top of it, we're going to place us a uh, purple terracotta to the right of both of them. And then from there, what we're going to do is we are going to take us netherrack down right diagonal from nether core ore, place us two netherrack going to the right, and then place us nether core ore on top of the nether core ore or another act to the right and then place us another act to the right and nether core ore down right at diagonal we're going to place us another nether core ore and then place this purple terracotta to the left of it underneath that nether core ore we're going to place this magenta terracotta and then one to the right and then one down right diagonal and then we're going to take this polished granite and place it on top of the brick block and then take us our magenta terracotta place it to the right of the polished granite and place purple terracotta underneath it from there, we're going to take us our nether core ore, place it underneath the purple terracotta, and then place us purple terracotta to the right of the nether core ore. Underneath the purple terracotta and the nether core ore, we're going to place us soul sand underneath both. And then we're going to take us black glazed terracotta. Since we oops, have it right here, we might as well just go ahead and grab it, place it to the right of the soul sand, and then take us nether core ore, place it to the right of the black glazed terracotta. Now from here, we're just I'm gonna clear out my hot bar and we're gonna grab us some brown wool. We're gonna place the brown wool on top of another core ore and then place one more to the right. 
and then went to grab us brown concrete powder and place one to the right of the brown wool. From there, what we're to do is we're gonna grab us netherrack and nether core ore, and then place us netherrack on top of the left brown wool, and then place nether core ore to the left of netherrack, and then place us netherrack to the left of the nether core ore, and one more on top. We then grab us a note block and place it on top of the black glazed terracotta. On top of the right brown wool, we are going to take us red terracotta and place us red terracotta on top of the right brown wool. And then we're going to place us up left diagonal from the red terracotta, red concrete, and then place us red terracotta to the left of the red concrete. We are then going to place us up on the top of the right red terracotta, uh, two pink terracotta, one, two. Next thing we're going to do from there is we're going to take our purple terracotta and we're going to take our magenta terracotta once more. Oops. And we're going to place purple terracotta to the left of the top pink terracotta. Then take us our netherrack place to the left of the purple terracotta. And place us purple terracotta once more to the left of the netherrack. And then place us a note block to the left of the purple terracotta. From there, we're going to grab us our black glazed terracotta and place it to the left of the note block. And then we're going to take us purple terracotta and place it to the left of the black glazed terracotta. And then we're going to take us from there, our note block, place it to the left of the purple terracotta, and then place us the note block up left diagonal. Next thing we're going to do from there is grab us our light gray terracotta and place it to the left of the top note block. And then we're going to place us purple terracotta on top of the light gray terracotta. We are then going to take us our black glazed terracotta and place it right or on top of the note block. Um, so we place our black glazed terracotta on top of there. Then place purple terracotta on top of black glazed terracotta. We're going to place one to right. On top of the one to right, we're going to go one and then place one more to the right. And I don't really have a specific area I'm going. I'm just kind of going with the flow on filling in the background. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to take us brown terracotta. And we are, oops, let me just quickly fill Clear that out, do this, take us brown terracotta, and then we're gonna grab us a gray terracotta. And then we're also gonna grab us black terracotta. And we're gonna place us brown terracotta in between note blocks, gray terracotta on top, and then black terracotta to right of the brown terracotta. From there, we're gonna grab us another brick block. And we're gonna place another brick block on top of the black terracotta and then place gray terracotta on top of another brick block. From there, we're gonna grab us gray concrete. And we're gonna place the gray concrete two to right another brick block. One, two, and then place another brick block underneath the right gray concrete. From there, we are gonna place us gray terracotta to the left of the another brick block. And then we're going to take us soul sand. I'm just going to go ahead and grab it out of here. And we're going to place it two to the left, or two to the right, and another brick block. One to the right of the gray concrete, and then one on top of the right gray concrete. From there, we are going to take us black glazed terracotta and place on top of the far right soul sand up to one, two. And then on top of the gray concrete, we are going to go up three, one, two, three. And then we're going to go two on top of soul sand. One, two. From there, we are going to go and we're going to take us netherrack. And to the left of the black glazed terracotta, we're going to go one, two. Take us our purple terracotta. Place this purple terracotta on top of and the right of the netherrack. And then we're going to clear. I'm going to clear out my hot bar once more. Because I figured out clearing it out is a lot faster. And we're going to place this purple, um, a purpler block on top of the purple terracotta and then take us netherrack place two to right the purpler block so one two uh, with netherrack and then place us one netherrack underneath the left netherrack from there we are going to take us red nether brick block and we're going to place that one underneath the netherrack to the left from there we are going to take us our oops nether core ore and we're going to place two nether core ore underneath the red nether brick. From there, what we're going to do is we are going to take us 
Might as well grab it. It's right here. Brown concrete powder. Place to the right of the bottom nether core ore. Take us polished granite. Place on top of the brown concrete powder. And then we're going to take us a brick block and place it on top of the polished granite. From there, we're going to take us our pink terracotta and we're going to go two to the right of the brick block. One, two. And then we are going to go. We're going to go over here to our right. And we're going to place this two pink terracotta going to the left, starting from the the on top of the netherrack. One, two. And then place this up polished granite going up two. One, two. And then go three to the left at the very top. One, two, three. From there, we are going to take us our polished granite once more. We go all the way far in to right. Go one over to the left. Place one, two, three on top. Go down to the middle and go two to the right. One, two. We're then going to fill in this small gap with pink terracotta to the right, right here. And then from the bottom, polished granite, we go all the way over to the left. We are then going to grab us a nether wart block. And we're going to place another wart block to the right of the netherrack. And then place us pink terracotta to the left of the polished granite. We are then going to go to on top of polished granite or in between right here and place us another pink terracotta and then we take us next red terracotta and replace red terracotta to the left of the pink terracotta and then two on top of the pink terracotta now we're only a few minutes into the video but we've already got a good chunk done I think making the background wall and uh, doing the way I'm doing it now is is really improving the amount of um, amount that we get done during the video so the next thing we do is up left diagonal from red terracotta we're gonna go two to the left one two and then one up top to the right on top of the red terracotta we are then going to take us our pink terracotta place it to the left of the red terracotta up top or yeah it's placed to the left of where we place this or in between from there we are going to take us our red nether brick and we're gonna place this red nether brick on top of the red terracotta. And we're just gonna go ahead and grab us our oops black terracotta from down here. Place this black terracotta on top of the red nether brick. And now we're just working our way back to the left a bit. We're gonna take us brown concrete and brown terracotta. Um next. So brown concrete, brown terracotta, and to down left diagonal from the red another brick room places brown concrete and brown terracotta then brown concrete on top and then place us red another brick to the left of the bottom brown concrete and places black glazed terracotta to the left and on top of the red another brick next thing we're going to do is we are going to go and take us a dirt block and place the dirt block on top of the right black glazed terracotta from there we're going to take us our nether core ore and we're going to place two to the left of the dirt block. We are then going to take us a spruce wood log. And we're going to place us a spruce wood log on top of black glazed terracotta. And then take us our black glazed terracotta again and place the left of the spruce wood log. Oops. There we go. We're then going to take us our brown terracotta. And we're going to place the brown terracotta to the left of the um, bottom black glazed terracotta. And then we're going to take us soul sand, place the left of the brown terracotta, and then place this brown terracotta to the left of the soul sand. We are then going to take us some gray terracotta and place the gray terracotta on top of the soul sand and to the left of the brown terracotta. From there, we're going to take us purple terracotta, place it on top of the brown terracotta, and on top of the gray terracotta. And then take our nether core ore to place to the left of the, the purple terracotta. From there, we are going to take us some netherrack and just grab some right here and place one to the left of the nether core ore. Then place us purple terracotta to the left of netherrack, netherrack on top and to the left of the purple terracotta. Then we'll place this netherrack down left diagonal, go one, two, and place us nether core ore to the left of the bottom netherrack. From there, we are going to take us our netherrack once more, 
and we're going to place one on top of another core or and two to the left one two of the top netherrack we're then going to place us purple terracotta to the left of the um another core or and then grab us uh, magenta terracotta and grab our purple terracotta once more I'm going to take our magenta terracotta and place this to the left of purple terracotta and then place us three purple terracotta going to the left of the magenta terracotta one two three we're then going to go back to the right and place this purple terracotta on top of the purple terracotta to the right and go to up to magenta terracotta one two and between the purple terracotta and place this one magenta terracotta we're then going to go back down here and to the left of the gray terracotta, we're going to place this two soul sand, one, two. And then we're going to place this soul sand on top of the um, soul sand in between the little gap on top of the soul sand we had just placed. From there, we're going to take us a purple um, purpler block and a purple pillar pillar. And we're going to place purpler pillar to the left of the black glazed terracotta. And then place us a purpler block to left of the pillar. From there we are going to grab us redstone ore and place that to left of the purpler block and place us three soul sand to left of the redstone ore. One, two, three. From there we're going to place a soul sand underneath the redstone ore and underneath the middle soul sand. And then we're going to take us black glazed terracotta place in between the soul sand and then we're going to take us gray terracotta and place this gray terracotta underneath the black glazed terracotta and, and the soul sand to the left. From there, we're going to place this redstone ore underneath the gray terracotta to the left. Next thing we're going to do from there is we are going to grab us cyan terracotta. And we are going to then grab us blue terracotta. And we're going to grab us gray concrete. I'm going to grab us redstone and coal ore. And we're also going to grab us iron ore as well. So we are going to place our cyan terracotta to the left of the redstone ore. And then up left diagonal, we're going to go up two. So one and then two. We're then going to take our blue terracotta and go two on top of the first cyan. One, two. On top of the cyan up top, we're going to go one and then place one to the left. At the very bottom of the one that we have placed on top. Right here, we're going to place this one to the left and then one underneath. And then place this gray concrete to the left. From there, we're going to take us our iron ore and place it underneath the blue terracotta at the bottom. And then place this coal ore between the blue terracotta and redstone ore up left diagonal. Next thing we're going to do from there is we are going to grab us polished granite. And we place the polished granite underneath the iron ore. And then we're going to take us our purple terracotta. We got some right here. I want to go up, hmm, up uh, two on top of the red, um, not redstone, the soul sand. And we go one, two. And then we're going to take us black terracotta. I want to place us one black terracotta on top of purple terracotta. To the left of the top purple terracotta, we're going to place us one. And then to the left of the black terracotta, we're going to go two to the left, one, two. We're then going to take us magenta terracotta. And we're going to place us magenta terracotta to the left of the purple or underneath the far left purple terracotta. We're then going to grab us a few blocks. We're going to take us soul sand and then grab us netherrack. And then we're going to place the, uh, the netherrack on top of the gray wool soul sand to the left of it then we go up three to the left of the soul sand one two three with netherrack and place us three soul sand to the left of the bottom netherrack one two three oops three from there up top on top of the far left soul sand we're gonna go two to the left with netherrack one two and then down left diagonal from the soul sand we're gonna place us soul sand and then up left diagonal we're place us more soul sand from there, what we're going to do is we're going to take our purple terracotta and place it in between the soul sand and netherrack. Go back over to right, two to the right of the netherrack and place us purple terracotta on top of the left purple terracotta right there. We're then going to take our magenta terracotta on top of the right purple terracotta. We're going to go up to one, two, and one to the left. 
then places purple terracotta to the left of the magenta terracotta. Underneath the purple terracotta, and place magenta terracotta, and then one to the left, and place netherrack on top of the one to the left. We are then going to grab us our um, polished granite, and place it to the left of the magenta terracotta, and place this magenta terracotta underneath the polished granite, and one polished granite to or purple terracotta to the left of the magenta terracotta and then place us magenta terracotta down left diagonal from the wait, wait no place purple terracotta down left diagonal from the purple terracotta sorry if I messed up words a bit like I said it's still early in the morning for me like 6 o'clock or 6 21 exact so I do apologize if I mess up a bit with my words we then going to take us our nether brick block and place us it to the left of the soul sand block and then place us two soul sand or one underneath the um, nether brick block and then place us one soul sand to the left from there we're going to grab us black glazed terracotta and we're going to place it down right diagonal from the nether brick block from there what we are going to do is we are going to grab us pink wool and we're going to take the pink wool and place it to right of the purpler block right here and then place us magenta terracotta to the right of it and then place us magenta terracotta on top of the pink wool and to the right of the magenta terracotta we just placed then we place magenta terracotta on top of the purple terracotta and then one to the left from there we're going to take us purpler block and place purpler block on top of magenta terracotta and place magenta terracotta to the left of the purpler block and two to the right of the purpler block from there we're going to place this purple terracotta down left diagonal of the purpler block and then place one up left diagonal of the um, purple terracotta next thing we're going to do from here is we are going to take us some bedrock and place it on top of the purple block to the left or to the left the redstone and then we're going to take us blue terracotta next and place it on top of the bedrock we're then going to take us our purple terracotta and magenta terracotta and take us nether core ore and netherrack and we're going to place us two purple terracotta to the right of the blue terracotta one and two and then place us one purple terracotta on top of the blue terracotta we're then going to take us redstone ore and place redstone ore on to the right of the purple terracotta that's on top of the blue terracotta we're then going to place us nether core ore to the right and on top of the redstone ore and then to the left of the nether core ore we're going to place up two with netherrack one two we are then going to place us purple terracotta on top of the netherrack and then one down right diagonal. From there we're going to take us our magenta terracotta and build all the way up to where it's even with the purple terracotta up top and place one to the left. We're going to go back down and we're going to place us two netherrack to right the purple terracotta down below one two then place us purple terracotta to right then netherrack to right of the purple terracotta and from there we're going to take us our pink terracotta and we're going to place us two pink terracotta to the right of the nether the netherrack so one two and then place us magenta terracotta on top one two and then take us our pink terracotta once more and we're going to go two to right magenta terracotta one two and then on top of the left pink pink terracotta we're going to go to the left one two so one on top of the left one and then one to left from there we are going to go into the right another core or to the left here and place us purple terracotta one two place us pink terracotta on top of the right purple terracotta and then build up with our magenta terracotta one over it and then place one to left on top of the purple terracotta and then we're going to go to the right and go one and then go up one on top of it hopefully everything I've said so far has made sense we are then going to continue um, by going over to the right and next thing we're going to do is we are going to take us pink 
concrete next. Oops, that is the wrong concrete. Pink concrete next. There we go, I'll just put it right there for now. I'm going to place it as two pink concrete to the right in the magenta terracotta. So, one, two. Take us our netherrack and place it to the right the pink concrete. And then we're going to go up left diagonal from the pink concrete to left. And we're going to go one, two. We are then going to take us polished granite. And I see there's some over here to the left. So, I'm, But I'm just going to grab us. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and grab it anyway. So we're going to take us our polished granite in between the two pink terracotta. We're going to go up to one, two, and then one to the left up top. From there, we're going to go up one over or over. Uh, we're basically going to go on top of the left polished granite right here. Go one, skip that one, and then go one over it. So it uh, leaves a one block gap. Next thing we're going to do from there is take us our magenta terracotta and our purple terracotta. We are going to go two magenta terracotta to the left of the polished granite we have placed up top. One, two. Purple terracotta to the left of it. And then magenta terracotta to the left of the polished granite. We're going to go one, two. And then on top of the right, um, with, and that's what magenta terracotta. On top of the right magenta terracotta, we're going to go all the way back over to redstone ore. Underneath the redstone ore, we're going to place this two purple terracotta, one, two, and one to the left of the top purple terracotta, and one magenta terracotta in between. From the, to the right of the polished granite, we're going to go three to the right with magenta terracotta. And then we're going to take us our pink concrete once more. I might as well grab it from right here and place it on top of the purple terracotta up top here. Next thing we're going to do from there is grab us our pink terracotta we might as well go ahead and grab it out of here and place it upright diagonal from the pink concrete we are then going to build us the magenta terracotta all the way one before the purple terracotta and then we're going to take us our grab us a purpler block I'm going to place two to the left of the magenta terracotta one two on top of the left purple purple or block place us a purple terracotta with one magenta terracotta to the left and then we're going to place us the magenta terracotta all the way back over to on top of the pink concrete and then place one up on the right from there we are going to place us at the very end over here to the left place us pink concrete then we're going to take us our netherrack we got some right here you might as well grab it and go one to the left pink concrete and then one down below it we are then going to take us our pink concrete we're going to fill in this little gap right here so we're just going to go fill all of this in like this from there we're going to take us a purpler pillar i want to place us a purple block to the left of the top netherrack then place us down left diagonal pink concrete and place a purple pillar on top of pink concrete. We are then going to place us magenta terracotta to the left of the purple pillar, purple terracotta, then magenta terracotta going to the left. We are then going to place us netherrack underneath the far left, and then place us magenta terracotta to the right of it, and then pink concrete to the right of it. We are then going to grab us a brick block, and we are going to place the brick block underneath the her pink terracotta to the right and then we're going to fill in the rest of the gap or not pink terracotta, pink concrete my bad, and we're going to fill the rest in with pink concrete like this and so far so good because we actually have made a bunch of progress in this one video um, we have reached the end of the video right here but as you can see we started down uh, all the way about right here I know it doesn't look like much but compared to this side was lower than the other and I think they're about almost even now we are my plan is to build all the way up to about his shoulders um, hopefully and then do the same on the other side and that's where it becomes either complicated or easy anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you have make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so that way you never miss a juice world pixel art tutorial um, I'm hoping to hopefully finish up the background soon. I know a lot of you guys said you want to see it get done, so that's what we're going to uh, go here and try to do. I want to thank you all for watching, though, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.